Are you tired of stuttering, lag, and random FPS drops in Valorant? In this video, I'll show you exactly how pros get huge FPS boosts. We'll go through a complete optimization guide, clearing junk files, unlocking full CPU power, reducing input delay, and applying pro-level tweaks to make Valorant run buttery smooth on any PC. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Step 1. Clear temporary files to free up space. The first thing we'll do is remove junk files from your PC. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run box, then type temp and press Enter. A folder will open with a bunch of files. These are just temporary files your system no longer needs. Select all of them and delete them. Now, repeat the process. Press Windows plus R again, but this time type percent %10% and hit Enter. Another folder will appear, and again, delete everything inside. Don't worry if a few files can't be deleted, just skip those. This step clears unnecessary clutter, frees up space, and that's how it and helps your computer run more smoothly. By removing these files, Valorant will have more breathing room, leading to slightly better performance and fewer background slowdowns. Step 2. Run Disk Cleanup to Remove Junk Files Next, let's do a disk cleanup to wipe out hidden junk files that take up space. Open the search menu, type Disk Cleanup, and press Enter. By default, it will select your C drive, so just click OK when prompted. After that, you'll see a list of items you can remove. Make sure to check the boxes for temporary internet files, DirectX shader cache, and delivery optimization files. Once that's done, click OK, then confirm by selecting Delete Files. This step gets rid of files your PC doesn't need, reduces background clutter, and helps Windows respond faster. By keeping your system clean, Valorant will load smoother and avoid small stutters caused by unnecessary junk. Step 3. Use all CPU cores for Valorant. In this step, we'll unlock your CPU's full power to make sure Valorant can use every processor core available. Press the Windows key, type System Configuration, and open it. When the window appears, go to the Boot tab at the top, then click Advanced Options. A new box will pop up. Here, check the box that says Number of Processors, and from the drop-down menu, select the highest number available. This number represents the total cores your CPU has. Click OK, then hit Apply and close the window. Now your CPU will run at its full potential. This helps Valorant get more processing power, resulting in higher FPS, smoother performance, and lower input delay, so your shots and movements feel more responsive. Step 4. Use Quick CPU to unlock full CPU power. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. To push your CPU even further, we'll use a free tool called Quick CPU. Download and install it, then open the program. At the top, you'll see a power plan option. Change it to ultimate performance to make sure your CPU always runs at full speed. Scroll down to the performance sliders. Set core parking to 100%, which ensures all your CPU cores are always active. Then, set performance, frequency scaling, and turbo boost all to 100% as well. These settings prevent your CPU from slowing down while gaming. Click Apply and then OK to save the changes. Next, go to Advanced CPU Settings, enable Turbo Boost, and check EIST, Enhanced Intel Speed Step Technology, for better power and speed management. These changes will now stay active in the background, making your CPU more powerful and consistent while you play Valorant. This step helps reduce lag spikes and ensures your game runs at top speed. Step 5. Use MSI Utility to improve hardware communication. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Now we'll optimize how your hardware communicates using a small tool called MSI Utility. Download and open the program. Inside, you'll see a list of devices connected to your PC. Find your graphics card GPU, in the list, Tick the box under MSI and change the interrupt priority to high. If your PC has integrated graphics like Intel HD graphics, do the same for it too. Once you've made these changes, click Apply, then close the utility. This tweak reduces latency between your CPU and GPU, helping Valorant respond faster. It lowers input lag and makes your overall gameplay feel smoother, especially in fast-paced situations. Step 6. Free up RAM using ISLC Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Valorant needs a lot of RAM, so we'll use a tool called ISLC to free up unused memory. 
Open the program, and at the top, you'll see your total RAM in megabytes, MB. In the field that says free memory is lower than, type half of your total RAM. For example, if you have 16,000 megabytes of RAM, type 8,000. If you have 32,000 megabytes, type 16,000. Next, check the boxes. Start ISLC minimized and launch ISLC on user logon so the tool always runs when your PC starts. On the right side, enable timer resolution and set it to 0.5V. Set polling rate to 1000 or 1000 if your system is slower. Finally, click stop, then start and press purge standby list. This clears unused RAM and keeps memory available for Valorant, reducing stutters and making the game run smoother. Step seven, boost Windows performance with Chris Titus. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Tech Utility Windows runs a lot of unnecessary background processes that can slow down gaming. To fix this, we'll use the Chris Titus Tech Utility. Open your FPS boost pack and copy the special PowerShell command provided inside. Go to the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, right-click it, and choose Run as Administrator. Paste the command you copied and hit Enter. This will launch the utility. Once inside, go to the Tweaks tab. You'll see Performance Presets. Choose Minimal if you only want to remove extra features but keep most things working. Choose Standard if you want even more performance by disabling more background tasks. The tool automatically creates a system restore point before applying changes, so you can always undo them if needed. After selecting a preset, click Run Tweaks and wait. This reduces background activity, lowers CPU usage, and makes Valorant run faster and smoother, especially on low-end PCs. Step 8. Lower keyboard input, delay using filter keys. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Setter. For competitive games like Valorant, even small input delays matter. We'll use filter keys setter to make your keyboard more responsive. Open the tool and adjust these settings. Ignore under, set to 0 milliseconds, removes key press delay. Repeat delay, set to 130 milliseconds, controls how quickly a key starts repeating. Repeat rate, set to 10 milliseconds, makes repeated key presses faster. Check the box to enable the new settings, then click OK to apply. This makes your keyboard react instantly, reducing delays when moving, shooting, or using abilities in Valorant. Step 9. Disable HPET to stop stuttering and FPS drops. The last tweak is disabling HPET, High Precision Event Timer. Right-click the Start button, open Device Manager, and expand System Devices. Scroll until you find High Precision Event Timer. Right-click it and choose Disable. By turning this off, your system avoids unnecessary timing issues, reducing lag and making Valorant feel much smoother during gameplay. If this Valorant FPS Boost Guide helped you fix lag, increase FPS, and reduce input delay, make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more optimization tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.